We have 37-year-old Alma, which is married to an old-time patient of mine, Manny. You're going to see his video here in a second. He's been a patient oh. forever, and he cares Ooh. about this woman so much. She is 36 oh weeks along in her pregnancy. Congratulations to you two. Uh, and she is in tons and tons of pain. She's never been to a chiropractor. She is a nurse. Definitely scared of chiropractic, but you get to see her journey. She wants to do a V-back, natural at home. Check out her story. It just felt weird. A little emotional too, huh? Yeah. My name is Alma. I'm 37 and I'm a nurse. Because my husband told me that it was going to help for her natural birth. Her husband's Manny and he has tons of videos and you'll see his videos in a second. They'll pop up right now. I've oh. uh, been a wonderful patient for Ooh. years and uh, he knocked this wonderful oh lady up. And so he's ready to have a baby and wants the best chance for her to get better. Okay. So, um, what is your pain, by the way? Give me pain. I What's do. Up? I have a lot of pain. Uh, a lot of my lower back. So she had low back pain, left side, mm -hmm. 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. 10 years How ago. bad did it mess you up back the then? 10 years. Oh, wow. I was in bed like for a whole month. I gotcha. couldn't do anything. Never How been to chiropractor. No chiropractor. Never before, in right? my life. Ever no. chiropractor. How long is your pregnancy right now? 36 weeks. Are things getting easier or harder for you? <laughs> harder. And so about three weeks ago, her left side started getting worse. And just everyday simple things like sitting down. I mean, I can't sit for too long. You sit for a few minutes and what happens? You said you got dizzy, lightheaded yes, too? Yes, I got really lightheaded, dizzy. And that happens. It's shortness of breath because the baby's getting bigger, pushing up against the diaphragm. Totally get it. Mm -hmm. uh, when she walks for about 20 minutes, what happens? I feel a really sharp pains through my lower back, all through my uh, left leg. I mean, it's really sharp and just very painful. Ugly. Like, yes, I can. She has low back pain too. Yes. So tell us about your sleep. How wonderful is your sleep? No, <laughs> it's not wonderful. <laughs> I wish it was, no. Yeah. You're, ha you're having pain at night or what? You're just uncomfortable? What's going on at night? A lot of pain. Gotcha, she's almost ready to pop, so of course she's gonna have some problems. A lot of pain. But um, a lot of pain, huh? I can't sleep. Just, I think not just the frequency of going to the restroom, but just the pain that I have. So I can only sleep on my side, mm -hmm, especially on this mm -hmm, side mm -hmm. for a couple minutes. Then I have to like toss and turn, it's just the... Sounds pain. miserable, guys. So it's Sounds not, miserable. not fun. Uh, by the way, she has one other child, 15 years old. Uh, this is gonna be a V-back for her. She had a C-section before, so people out there that are interested in that, VBAC is not necessarily uh, always um, encouraged in the world of pregnancy, but she has a wonderful midwife that's going to help her through this, and I encourage it. I'm not trying to say no to it. I'm just saying I wanted you guys to know the effects. Uh, headaches, how often? At least once a week. Oh, my, tell us how nervous you are right now. Very nervous. In her exam, she definitely has some history of issues here that I should see what's going on. We are not taking x-rays of her today. She does have bunions, especially in the right foot. So you can see history of uh, back pain. Uh, we need to do a full workup on her when she's done with the pregnancy because there's definitely issues we need to work on. Why am I adjusting her, by the way, guys? The skeleton either help or hurt us, but by her telling me she has left sciatica, we know her pelvis is uh, restricting the pelvis from opening and closing, and the baby will pass through the pelvis during the birthing process. So we wanna make the birthing process as easy as possible by allowing the bones to be as loose as we can. So her pain is telling us that there is a problem down there, we're gonna fix it right now, and uh, help her with her posture that will help all this process go much easier. I just palpated her neck, and we're gonna go right through the middle of her neck, a very simple adjustment here. Uh, she should see market changes. Good. She's being very brave right now. She's actually relaxing pretty good. Toward me, please. <laughs> what was the uh, whimpering for? I, I feel weird. You feel weird? <laughs> How painful was that? A little bit or a lot? I don't know. It just felt weird. A little emotional too, huh? Yeah. I can see that. Why is she emotional? We tend to lie to ourselves and we think everything's fine. We internalize pain. And when I adjust somebody, sometimes it spontaneously comes out. And it comes out, why? Because it's hidden in our muscles. It's hidden in our bones. And she's not crying because of the pain, I don't think, right? No. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah, wonderful experience, guys. She's gonna tell you it actually feels good. So have you process those emotions yet? Yes. What are they? Um, what is it feeling like? What is it? Where is it coming from? You think? Anyway, idea? I just feel very calm right now. now. Interesting, huh? From that huge emotion to calm mm -hmm. now. Right through here. Wow. 
That side was definitely, definitely tired on the other side. Is that a little painful too? That one did her a little. Yeah. Hey guys, being the gentleman that I am, I'm always gonna help up a 36 week along expectant mother. Now, we're also gonna remind her not to twist and turn or what? We are gonna undo that work I just did. Now, she's a little lightheaded, but that's okay. Let's check in and see how she's doing. Anything that feels different, better, worse, same, give us the truth. I feel amazing right now. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you feel amazing? That's cute, I love that. But what feels amazing about the amazing? I feel like very light. But what? where does the word amazing come from? What? How guttural is that? I'm kind of curious where that comes from. Because when I was when I came in, or just every day, I felt like so much tension and pressure and discomfort. Right now, I feel like hallelujah. Like before I even got pregnant, like that feeling, you're just like, oh, everything's okay. She may be 36 weeks along and out of balance because of that pregnancy, but I'm telling you, she's gonna be a lot better after this walk. Let's check her out. Any change in the way you walk? Is that feeling different? Yes, I feel a little bit lighter. A little lighter? Yes, even, a lot. I think a lot. Even lighter. though you have a baby inside you and you've gained all this weight, you feel lighter. I do. I know. Like, I feel happy right now. Yeah. Uh, it's all about leverage, guys. And so when I balance the body, we deleverage the body, which takes the torque off her spine, which makes her feel instantly. Anything else you want to tell us? I just feel really good right now. Good. That was a seven a minute oh, ago. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what was that? Oh, wow, 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 wow. Yes. What does wow mean? It's like a four. I, I could do it again. I think I can go a little bit lower. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, my God. Yep. What? The, yeah. Cool, right? Yes. Your husband was right for once. Yes. Like this. You love that one, but it's even better now. Oh, for sure. Okay. Oh, we heard that. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Okay, so uh, now the big one. You guys all want to see this. Let's get the video. Okay. Okay, we're gonna squat, please. Oh, oh shit, yeah. What's oh shit, what does that mean? I went a little bit lower without any pain. Yeah, how much pain, no pain you're saying? No. Remember you were six, 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 I guess you should say that way, six before. Oh. Do it again. That's for sure. Look at how low you went too. Oh my God. You can do those yoga poses again. Oh wow. That's good. What do you think of this, a little bit closer? Wow. What do you think about this? Wow, yeah. Cool, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So uh, we're gonna have her back, get her some more stuff. We got more adjustments to yeah. do on her. This is just the first one. We wanna just open up those chakras. Mm -hmm. Yes, for sure. And uh, get her on the start. Mm -hmm. Get her to a point where she feels wonderful and this baby's gonna just slip and slide right out of her. Mm -hmm. Not sure if I should say it that way, but you guys can correct me if you want. <laughs> anyway, say bye, Alma. Bye. <laughs> oh my God. There we go. Head forward, head forward. There. She is gonna do a home birth. They're gonna do a water birth. But we have a special table so that she can lay on her stomach. How does that feel in your stomach? Good. Good. One out. Okay, one more here. Breathe in. And let the belly drop. Three points of contact that happen when you're delivering the baby. The SI joints and the pubis. We wanna release all those so the baby can pass through the pelvic floor much easier. Good. Okay. Third point of contact when you're delivering a baby is the pubis bone. Squeeze with her. 